Hello guys and welcome back to another play review on the channel. Now today we have the 93 rated Cristiano Ronaldo to review for you guys. So if you do enjoy the video make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more player reviews and also go and check out all my other player reviews. I've done a messy review so you'll find out who's the real go of FIFA 20. So as we get on into the player bio, we already know he's got 5 star skills. He has 4 star weak foot, a high low work rate and he is 6 foot 2 and he's costing around about a million coins right now. And we go on into his in game stats and he has got a sea of greens and you already know that from Ronaldo don't you. He has a sea of greens, 89 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. His shooting category is ridiculous, 95 positioning, 94 finishing, 95 shot power, 93 long shots, 87 volleys and 85 penalties. There's just greens everywhere, greens, greens, greens. I'll talk about the ones that aren't green and that's his balance at 71, his strength is 79 this year and his aggression is 63. So you're going to see what he's like in game and is he worth the coins and is he the GOAT this year because Ronaldo's always been the GOAT of FIFA every single year but has it changed this year you're gonna find out in this video so we get on into the first goal and he scores a beautiful goal with his left foot an absolute power shot into the back of the net with that weak foot so that's the four star weak foot coming into play which is absolutely brilliant on this card so we can finish on both feet and he's got the skill moves as well as you see him here pick up the ball yeah we did get lucky it bounced back to him it fell to his feet and he puts the ball into the back of the net but that's his 95 positioning because he needs to be there to score the goals and Ronaldo always is one con that I did have with this card though was his 71 balance because his strength isn't as high as previous years at 78 and his aggression is quite low at 63 he isn't that strong this year he just isn't he's not as strong as previous years and as well this year, we all know, heading is absolutely useless. No one on this game can score a header, and not even Cristiano Ronaldo this year. So, the meta has completely changed, and Ronaldo, he just isn't as good as previous years due to that. Because last year, you cross it in back post, you could have him at striker, and he to go you those headers, and he was so overpowered. But this year, he's not as overpowered. He still is absolutely brilliant. But he's not overpowered as previous years. And it's a shame because I really want EA to fix this heading. Because it, we're now, what, 3-4 months into FIFA? And it's still absolutely terrible. I don't know why they haven't patched it yet. To make you at least be able to score headers. Yeah, last year was ridiculous how meta and OP headers were. But this year, you can't even score one at all. Which is ridiculous. They need to find a balance. And this definitely isn't it. So you just see him there lingering inside the box and he scores a nice little volley. And that's his 87 volleys coming into play. He is, he's been brilliant. He's a definite out and out goal scorer as you guys know. He could definitely play as a winger right or left and you can play him up top. I wouldn't play him at Cam or anything like that because it'd be a waste of this card. Because he is still incredible. He's still Ronaldo. He still bags amazing goals. As you see him there, what a goal that was. Turns the defender, smashes the ball with the inside of the foot and curves it round the keeper into that top corner. Brilliant goal by Ronaldo. And that's what he brings. All this, he's a goal machine. Every single year, no different. Cristiano Ronaldo is a bloody goal machine. He is incredible. But is he better than Messi? That's what you're here for, and that's what you want to, want to know. Well, you'll find out at the end of the video, if you've already watched the Messi review. If you haven't, you best go and check that out to find out what score I give Messi as well. I'll link that at the end of the video, so make sure you check that out. But this guy is the ultimate finisher, as per usual. His passing isn't the best. 83 short pass, which is really good to be fair, but long passing at 77. He's got curve at 81, crossing of 84 vision of 82 his dribbling stats are stacked apart from that balance as i said before 87 agility 96 reactions 92 ball control 89 dribbling and 95 composure that composure is ridiculous honestly if he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper it's going in every single time but he's so composed on the ball with the dribbling as well but like i've said the balance the strength and the aggression he doesn't make him strong as previous years and he isn't the strongest but as you see him muscle off the defender there keep him at bay and then bang 
What a bloody goal that was from Ronaldo. Probably one of my best, one of my favourite goals. Great, great volley from the big man himself, CR7. So, he is brilliant on this game, I cannot lie. He's still absolutely amazing, but he's not as overpowered as previous years, as I've said. Due to mainly that heading and the strength isn't brilliant, but everything else is absolutely incredible. And at the moment, he's going for a million coins. Absolute bargain for this card. He's never, ever been like that, that cheap at this time of FIFA, ever. Neither is Messi to be fair, especially when they're both so, so good on this game. So, if you have got the coins, go and buy him, go and try him. He will definitely do you the business in front of the goal. I suggest you play him in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation or another formation with another striker because I did play a 4-2-3-1 and had him as a central striker and he wasn't as good. When you're playing the 1-2s with him, I had Messi and Ronaldo up front in one of my teams. When you're playing them up front together and they're doing 1-2s and they're making the runs in behind, that is where he's most effective. So as we get into the overall rating, I've given Ronaldo a 9.5 out of 10. He is brilliant, but he does have the cons of playmaking and the minor cons of his strength because it's not as good as last year. And also, that balance does let him down sometimes. But he is still a very valuable card on this game. One of the best strikers you can come across and get your hands on. And he's got five-star skills, so he's so fun to use. And with that, oh, he's just, he's brilliant. He is absolutely brilliant, but... Like I've said, he's not as good as previous years. And if you do want to know if he's better than Messi, go and check out that player review and see what overall rating I give Messi. So there's his key stats. He's absolutely stacked. You all know that. Ronaldo has got some incredible stats on this game. He's only going for around a million coins at the time of recording. And is he worth those coins? Of course he bloody is. A million coins for a play like this is no joke. Absolute bargain. It really is. When you're considering... Some of the icons now, like Cruyff and, you know, Chris, uh, not Cristiano Ronaldo, Fat Ronaldo is going for so much on this game, and Ronaldo's got similar stats. He is brilliant, he's still brilliant on FIFA, but he isn't as good as previous years. So if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, and subscribe to the channel for more player reviews, and also go and check out my Instagram and Twitter accounts, links are in the bio for them, and thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of your day.